Hi, hello, a great welcome to this presentation, which is all about the use of an app to compute the discharge in open channel flows. Basically, this app is developed using the MATLAB language App Designer. In addition to the discharge computation, the app can also construct the conveyance of parts for channels of any cross section. So, let me take you to directly to this app. So, this is the app. So, as you can see, the working is very simple. First of all, you need to select the cross section. So, the app considers four types of cross sections as you can see rectangular, trapezoidal, triangular, and circular. And as usual, you know, there are basically two methods available for the calculation of discharge. One is, is, one is the Chessis formula and the other one is the Mannings formula. So what we need to do is, for example, let me say that I want to compute the discharge in a rectangular channel. So I will select rectangular. So let me assume that I want to compute the discharge using the Mannings approach. So I have selected the, here the Mannings. You can also go for the Chessis. So having selected the cross section and the method, now we need to update, press this update button. So what happens is you require in this on the screen the input parameters that is required. For example, we have selected the Mannings. So first it has asked provide the Mannings constant. Okay. So let me write down the Mannings formula, Mannings coefficient that is 0 0.0, 0 0.015. Okay, fine. And now the bed slope I have selected is a 0.005 and uh, this is a rectangular channel so we need to specify the depth of flow let it be one meter and the bottom width it is uh, two meters now what we need to do having inputted all the necessary parameters just press this calculate button okay so it has calculated all the required parameters for example here it has calculated the wetted area a that is a two meter square wetted perimeter p four meters hydraulic radius obviously it is a by p that is 0.5 meters then the conveyance also is computed that is 83.99 and the discharge q in meter cube per second is calculated as 1.818 and suppose you are interested in obtaining the conveyance plot as well what you have to do is that you have to just in addition you have to press this plot button yes so this is the conveyance plot for this rectangular section as you can see on the x-axis this is basically the x and y axis as you can see these are plotted on the log to log scale okay and here is a familiar parameter phi which is uh, usually defined as a into r raised to 2 by 3 divided by b raised to 8 by 3 for uh, the trapezoidal or uh, the rectangular channels and in the case of circular channels we need to replace b by d that is the phi will be a into r raised to 2 by 3 divided by d raised to 8 by 3 okay and along the y-axis you can see we have the non-dimensional depth ratio that is y by b and in the case of the circular channel it will be y by d where d will be the diameter okay so suppose uh, we want to try a trapezoidal channel okay so let us uh, compute the discharge using the chassis formula so here i have selected the chassis okay so just update it so it will ask the various parameters required for a trapezoidal section as well as for a chassis constant or the chassis method so the chassis constant let me provide it as a 50 okay and the bed slope let me consider it as a say 0 0.0.004 okay and the depth of flow let me consider it as 1.2 meters 1.2 meters okay and the bottom width let me consider it as a 5 meters okay and then the side slope here a side slope because it's a trapezoidal channel we need to specify the side slope to complete the geometry and the side slope m means it is m horizontal to one vertical so in this case let me assume that there is 1.5 horizontal to one vertical it does mean my m value will be 1.5 okay so let us calculate okay so the discharge is calculated you have the various parameters and the discharge in meter cube per second is 7.633 okay fine so so we have now suppose we are interested in obtaining the conveyance plot so it is very simple just again press this plot yes so this is the conveyance plot for this selected trapezoidal channel okay with this geometry so again this is plotted on a 
or we can say that a log log scale okay fine so this uh, app has also the very good advantage that we can also perform some kind of an inverse calculation okay for example here uh, for a depth of flow of say for example 1.2 meters i have got a discharge of uh, 7.633 okay now suppose that uh, <clears throat> in the problem it is asked to find out what would be the normal depth of flow corresponding to a discharge of 10 meter cube per second so it's just a trial and error for example if you instead of 1.2 if you keep say 1.3 what will happen let us say calculate okay it is approaching near 10 so let me just make it say 1.4 so again press again calculate so it is 9.99 so means that is let me just keep it as a little bit more 1.45 meters just calculate it yes it is 10.5 so it must be some something like i say 1.42 okay just again press calculator so you can find that is almost nearing 10 for the 10 cubic meter per second we can say that the depth of flow required will be 1.42 meters that way this app is also very efficient in performing the inverse calculations right now last let me just take you for demonstration purpose a circular channel okay so this is my circular channel so let me uh, assume that i want to calculate the discharge by the manning's formula so i selected the manning's formula now it is a circular channel so i need to get all these input parameters updated press update okay very good so just go on inputting all the parameters manning's constant let me assume it as a 0 0.014 meters okay fine and the bed slope let me keep it as a 0 0.005 okay and then a depth of flow now let me assume that the, this diameter of the channel the diameter of this circular channel let me assume that is a three meters and i want to see that the depth of flow obviously should be less than or equal to the diameter so i want to keep it as a two meters okay so for the circular channel we provided the manning's form manning's coefficient and the bed slope is also provided depth of flow that is two meters and the diameter of the circular channel is fixed at three meters now it is time for us to pro proceed for the discharge calculation press calculate yes so the discharge is computed as 7.3 meters okay 7.3 meter cube per second so here you can see that the wetter perimeter and the wetted area the hydraulic radius and the conveyance everything is worked out for the circular channel automatically okay now suppose you are interested in obtaining the conveyance plot okay so you just press plot yes so you obtain a very beautiful conveyance plot for the circular channel and Please remember in this case uh, along the x axis the non dimensional parameter phi is a raised to 2 by 3 divided by d raised to 8 by 3 and as you can see along the y axis the non dimensional depth ratio is y by d. So if you are interested in this app please uh, contact me uh, okay uh, at the email address provided at the end of this presentation okay.